Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to give you some extra insight into how to position your objects at certain locations within the scene. So this is just a very simple approach. So first thing is if you just want to place it where this object is located, then you press Shift S and you put the cursor to the selected. And then you get this object and you Shift S and the selection to the cursor. Okay, that's the basic test, right? If we go into wireframe mode, there it is on the inside. I'm going to control Z that. All right, so that's the most simplest of cases. But what do I want to position it maybe up here, all right? Or maybe at this point up there, like that. So a couple things you have to do. One is, well, first thing, I'm going to invert this. So I'm going to press RY 180, like that. And then let me bring it over here in the light a little, light a little bit. So then this is the origin of the object, but I want that origin to be here because when I place it, I want to place the point there at the same time. So it's two steps. Well, first thing I do typically anyway, before I even do that, I always do control A and I apply the rotation. So that's my new normal orientation of the object. All right, that's just a really good habit to be in too in case you're doing rigid body work and other things that that really comes into play. All right, so but now this point here, the origin, I want to move the origin up to the tip. So in order to do that, I'll go into edit mode and then I get vertex select and then I'm going to right click and select that vertex down there. And with the vertex selected, I'll press shift S and I'll see cursor to the selected. So there that is there. Then I can leave edit mode and I come over here to object and I can transform the origin to the 3D cursor. And notice a lot of times I use origin to the geometry, but you don't have to do that. So now you can see it's there. I didn't, so my origin now is at the tip of this object. Well, that also means that if I rotate this object, it's going to rotate around that origin. All right, so if I do RY, RY, now you see where it's rotating around that origin point. All right, well, well so now that this origin is here, now let's go into this object. Let's do the same thing. Ed, edit mode, I'm going to pick this point up here right select, I'm going to type shift S and cursor to the selected. So now my cursor is there and then I can leave this mode and then when I either, either if I was to parent this to this, in fact let's parent it first. Let's, this will be the child object, shift select this, press control P and I'm going to parent to that object and you can see where it parents it. It parents it from the origin of the one to the origin of the other. If you would move this origin to here, then it would parent it from that location to that location. All right. So that's parented. All right. Let's control Z that. We don't need that parent there. And now we want to actually just physically move this object to this location. All right. So then in this case, I just want to. Well, my cursor is still there. So well, then that's easy. So then it's just select, selecting this object and Shift S and selection to cursor. And there it is. So I precisely place that object where I want in the scene. Now, in the next tutorial, I'll take, we'll take a look at uh, duplicating objects across a whole bunch of vertices. But learning these basic techniques and getting these down to a science is so, so important to really being able to help control everything you do within Blender. So that's why I spend time doing these kind of simple, basic tutorials instead of these fancy elaborate extended tutorials because I believe that in the long run that if you become well grounded in all these basic techniques that you will become a much better animator in the long run. Of course, the ones, there's one other thing you have to learn. Yes, to be a really good animator, you must, yes, you must study your math, your physics, your basic engineering, and things like that. Okay, because that's really important because the guys at the top end of the chain who are doing the really great animations in the world. Yeah, they're all really technical guys for the most part with support from the artists, but it's the technical guys who can help bring it all to life for them. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.